Hello my friends, today I'm going to review the Tesis Night Stalker 10 millimeter 1911. This is a cool gun guys. I'm going to run through some of the key aspects of the gun. After that I'll review it. This is the Tesis Night Stalker which was released to the market in 2023. The Night Stalker is designed for both range use and hunting. It has a 5 inch barrel, an overall length of 8.5 inches, weighs 42.4 ounces, has a 5.5 pound trigger pull, and a magazine capacity of 8 rounds. It comes with Novak style U-notch rear sights and a tritium front sight. It is the least expensive 1911 pistol in my collection that has a tritium front sight. The MSRP is $760 but it has the look and feel of a much more expensive 1911 pistol. Therefore it is the best value 1911 chambered in 10mm in my collection. Okay, my friends, the first thing I love about this pistol is that I feel that it makes for a great EDC, everyday carry. Because of the thin profile, it makes it easy to conceal. If you look at this, I'm carrying my pistol here with a very form-fitting shirt. And yeah, you can see the outline, but you can also see how easy it would be to conceal with a little bit larger shirt or a jacket or something that's not so form-fitting. So I intentionally wore this shirt just to show how thin of a profile it has. So yeah, I do believe that 1911s are great for everyday carries and, and that's what this is. So the second thing I love about this pistol is the incredible trigger. 1911s are known for having a great trigger and this is no exception. Let me show you real quick. So first of all, you do have a little bit of take up here. Right after the take up, you hit a wall. You apply 5.5 pounds of pressure and you clear that wall and the gun goes bang. Now watch this. I'm gonna continue to put pressure on the trigger and cock it and now you can see what the reset's like. There's barely a little bit, there's hardly anything and then bam. So that is a sweet reset. Bam, bam. I love guns with great triggers and this is no exception. The third thing I love about this pistol are the sights. It's got the U-notch sight here and the tritium night sight there. You see that? What a beautiful sight picture. This yellow slash orange sight, because it's bright and it's tritium, it makes it super easy to aim this pistol whether you're shooting at daytime or at nighttime. And I feel like uh, this makes it really accurate too, so there's a bonus. A sight that makes the gun accurate. Number four, I love that this has the look and feel of a very high quality pistol. This just feels like high quality. It's made of steel. It's got a good weight to it. It's got a good balance to it. I love this octagonal top. Yeah, it's not a full octagon, but the top part is octagonal shaped. So uh, very nice, very sharp looking, very good feel. It looks and feels like a very well-built pistol. I love that. The fifth thing I love about this pistol for a 10 millimeter 1911, this is extremely well priced. MSRP is $760. To be honest with you, this looks more like a $1,500 pistol. Usually for this price, you get a plastic pistol. Here, you get a full-on metal pistol. I love that. This is affordable enough to be an EDC. I mean, you know, at this price, I don't mind a little scuff here and there when using it as an EDC. EDCs usually get wear and tear, get scuffed up and stuff, and when it's an expensive pistol, it hurts. When, when you got a $3,000 pistol and it gets a scuff, a scratch, something, some kind of marking from carrying it, yeah, that, that, that hurts. It's like, ouch! Those $3,000 pistols you want to keep put away. Even those $2,000 pistols, you just want to use at the range and, and pretty much keep it looking as sharp as possible and not let it have any scuffs on it. But this, 760 bucks, not a big deal. Now the first thing I hate about this pistol, even though it's fairly easy to disassemble, it can be quite tricky sometimes to reassemble because of the extra long slide spring. Let me show you. To disassemble it, you gotta put that at that notch. So take out the magazine, you bring it right there, you pop this out. See, fairly easy to remove. Now, See that? I'm not going to take it all the way out because it gets really hard to put in. But already the spring is buckling. So you got to make sure it doesn't buckle all the way. And then... And then you put your thing back in. 
you gotta slide it all the way back and you're back together. When I have that slide all the way off, I gotta get that spring to collapse without bending and get it to fit in here. And then I can get the slide on. Not all 1911s are that difficult to reassemble and I think they could have done better. I wish they would have done better, but you know what? For a $760 gun that looks as nice as this, that's not too big of a deal. The second thing I don't like about this pistol are the aluminum grips. These grips, as you can see, they get marred easy. I barely got this gun and already it got marred up. It would be nicer if it had G10 grips. You can get different grips on their website. I've seen different places say that they sell G10 grips for this, but I haven't been able to find them. Doesn't mean they don't sell them, I just wasn't able to find them. So yeah, you, you can put different grips on this, but I think it was really dumb to put aluminum grips on this considering how easy it is for them to get marred. So the third thing I don't like about this pistol is there is no optic cutout. Yeah, I know most 1911s don't have an optic cutout, but some do. I like the option to mount an optic because I actually shoot better with an optic. Being that I don't see very well close up, the sights are blurry, makes it a little bit harder to aim. With an optic, it makes it easier to aim. The sights on here are so good that it does mitigate some of the problems that I have with other sights. So it's not as big of a deal that this doesn't have an optic cutout. It's just that, you know, for a gun that I'm going to keep, I'm going to want an optic cutout because I'm going to want to put an optic on it. The fourth thing I don't like about this pistol, as with most 10 millimeter 1911 pistols, this one only holds eight rounds. It would be nice if it held more like 15 or 16 rounds, but then it wouldn't be a 1911, it'd be a 2011. And that's fine. But when I'm struggling to find five things that I don't like about this pistol, you know what? Um, I'll bring that one up. It would be nicer if, uh, if it held more rounds. The fifth thing I don't like about this pistol, try as I might, can't think of a fifth thing. This is a pretty darn good pistol for the price. I love it. Even though this is just made for target practice and hunting, I think it also works well as an everyday carry slash self-defense pistol. With 10 millimeter, you got plenty of power to stop the bad guy. And you really shouldn't need more than eight rounds of 10 millimeter to stop the bad guy. I don't think this gun is right for everyone, but if you like a good high quality 1911 that doesn't break the bank, I think you should take a look at this one. Now we're gonna go out to the range and shoot some targets. Let's go. Hello my friends. We're at the range with the Tesis Night Stalker. We're gonna start out with our metal targets from about 25 feet away. This is the first time I'm shooting targets with this, so I'm not sure how we're gonna do. Let's wish for the best, okay? Well, this is super accurate from 25 feet away. I am really impressed. I really like, here, let's take a look at this. I really like that front sight. That front sight really, uh, really pops on the target and makes it really easy to aim. I'm very impressed. Let's go ahead and set up some new targets and go again. Okay, I got some more targets set up. This time we got some water. I love shooting water because it explodes when you hit it. Again, we're gonna be shooting from about 25 feet away. Wish me luck. Not a single miss. I love it. I gotta say, this has gotta be one of the best 10 millimeter 1911s on the planet for the money. This is a really high quality pistol. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more targets set up and we're gonna go again. Okay, my friends, we got some new targets set up. They're just pieces of brick. They're just leftover pieces of brick and I like shooting them because how they break up when you shoot them, but uh, Again, 25 feet away, wish me luck.
I love shooting those. So, uh, <laughs> this gun is so fun to shoot. I love the sight. Don't love the plastic grips, but for the price, you can't do better than this. This truly is a phenomenal gun for the price. They could probably charge several hundred dollars more and it'd still be worth it. So wonderful, wonderful gun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me shoot this gun. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you value the second amendment and you love 10 millimeter pistols, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I've got a whole year's worth of 10 millimeter pistol reviews coming up. And so you don't want to miss it. So go ahead and subscribe and click that notification icon. So you'll get a notification every time I drop a new video. Thanks for coming with me. Love you guys very much. I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.